What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be covering the SoFi stock. We have three big pieces of news to give to you guys today. We're going to continue to bring you guys the breaking news on the SoFi stock each and every single day. Guys, it has been a long journey, a long painful ride for the SoFi stock. Since this company went the SPAC route, it was hated beyond belief with Wall Street just absolutely bashing every single SPAC stock out there. But what you need to understand about this specific SPAC company that, you know, when the deal was created, the management has massive bonuses on the line that are set to expire mid-2026. We're talking $300 million bonus for the CEO if he can eclipse the $45 price target. The reason why I continue to reiterate this is because we get more and more viewers onto the channel and I want everyone to see a little bit of a bigger picture, not 10 years out, not five years out. We're talking mid 2026 management CEO, $45, $300 million bonus is on the line. And this is a management that is executed perfectly. Guys, what's happening right now is we're hitting 52 week highs along with three year, you know, highs and just continue to pound through the short interest of, you know, 180 million shares sold short. Right now, I'm telling you what's happening, guys. You guys are early, okay? Wall Street is now starting to catch on that SoFi is not just a lender and continues to diversify out of the lending, you know, segment, okay? We had 99% lending revenue in 2018. We have dropped that from 99% to 50% of overall revenue and continuing to diversify faster and faster. As of right now, I believe that the fair value, we're not talking fairy tale or bubble land. The fair value on the stock is about $18, just going off of simple growth price to sales, you know, other competitors and stuff like that. The stock is significantly undervalued when you see the valuations that other companies like an upstart, a firm are still getting right now, guys. It's unbelievable. A firm just reported a negative $100 million quarter in 2024 and they're priced higher on a market cap, you know, than SoFi. It's just absolutely mind blowing what's going on. But I'm telling you right now, we're going higher into Christmas. I believe this stock could easily eclipse $18. And we just continue once again to bang out 52-week highs after 52-week highs. So be sure to smash the like button. Drop a comment. I'm going to be commenting back to as many people as I can. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be keeping you updated daily. Let's try and get the channel past 20,000 sub. All right, guys. We just need to do a little bit of an update. Today is November 8th on a Friday. And as you guys can see, the NASDAQ composite is just flat. We love to see this. Look at this, 0.16 flat. What's going on inside of the market, you know, with SoFi right now? We're up 5.7%, absolutely awesome. Smashing through that 1250 that we hit in that uh, pre-market after the election. It happened in the pre-market, we hit about uh, 1249. And then, you know, the last five days just chopped around 12. And then boom, guys, you're getting a 5.5% move today. This is absolutely insane and what you want to see we're literally, you know, 40 cents away from, you know, the teens, $13, okay? And I think the stock is going to go a lot higher with about, you know, seven weeks left inside of the year. We just got a back-to-back, -back, you know, rate cuts. Um, things are looking really good, okay? We're setting up for a monster, absolute blowout Q4. And it looks like the market is starting to price in the Q3 earnings that we already had. And remember, guys, I said this quarter was going to be different because we got the four quarters of gap profitability. You're going to see institutions start to pile in. That's exactly what we've seen. Yesterday, I filmed the video for you dimensional fund you know increased by 10 million shares they jumped up to the fourth largest holder of sofi dimensional fund right now absolutely mind-blowing we're going to show you guys another you know whale that came in this is not in the top 10 but it was a huge buy here we go guys breaking news jp morgan chase has increased ownership by 93 percent remember guys these dudes sold out you know like half of their position in q2 like decreased 50 percent now they you know almost you know doubled the position 7.4 million shares guys absolutely insane right now okay big big position i think this puts them into top 12 or something like that so as you guys can see you know jp morgan's filing just came in seven and a half million shares almost jumped up by 100 percent i will go over to the hedge fall largest holders you guys can see Vanguard, BlackRock, Silver Lake, and look at that. Dimensional Fund has moved up. They are officially updated, guys, okay? 24 million shares, top four right now. Uh, if you just scroll down to the bottom, uh, Sumitomo at, you know, number 10, uh, JP Morgan should be right around like 12 or 13, okay? So this was a big, big buy, uh, double down coming in from JP Morgan. So guys, we only have one big whale right now out of the top 10, okay? 
follow the channel you're gonna see what these other nine whales are doing pretty soon but you know when you start out with dimensional fund you know increasing by 88 percent guys this is absolutely what you want to see the stock has moved from seven dollars to twelve dollars big whales are behind the scene increasing institutional ownership that's going to give the stock a you know bigger base for the you know bigger rip up higher all right guys in every single week it takes about a week delay for the uh website traffic to come out so we got it today november 8th breaking news website traffic comes out strong for the beginning of q4 october so it takes about a um, one month and a week to get your official you know data for the previous month so we got 16.5 million total visits this is the third highest website traffic in company history month over month was actually 9.5 percent increase so look at right here uh, july 16.6 .6. august was the record 16.7 cool off in september 15.1 million probably waiting on the rate cuts and stuff like that at the end of the you know uh the month and then boom guys right back up 10 percent increase 16.5 million absolutely awesome this is what you want to see starting out the q4 earnings guys this is just the beginning uh right now guys understand one more week goes by we're halfway through q4 this is the monster quarter this is the blowout quarter this is gonna be five quarters in a row of gap profitability remember guys 18 dollars is what we're looking for that is going to get us into the s p 500 on a market cap and a profitability standpoint four quarters in a row of profitability eighteen dollars plus this is what we're looking for to end the year out in 2024 guys 2025 sky's the limit i don't know how high this bad boy can go but remember like i said in the beginning of the video management has a lot of money on the line ceo 300 million dollars 45 dollars is what we need to hit by mid 2026 all right guys and we also have the options chain going on right now Finishing out today, about two more hours, we have November 8th, 159,000 calls are on the line. I think we have a lot of room to run if we can get by this week, guys. Yes, we got, you know, big calls next week at a quarter million, but we also have big puts over the calls at 260,000 open interest. But after we move by, guys, we have about, you know, five weeks of just solid, you know, opportunity. I think the market makers, you know, they don't want to pay out massive, massive uh, call options. But, you know, right now they have to because, you know, institutions continue to accumulate. And, you know, as you guys can see with JP Morgan and also Dimensional Fund, you know, this is going to pound through short interest all day. But as you guys can see, we're going to be cleaning up this week right here. This is going to be expired in about two hours. And then we're going to move on to next week. Quarter million on the calls, 260 on the puts. Let's see what happens next week. But, hey. I think we can break into the teens, no problem. If you made it to the end of the video, I want to say I really do appreciate it. I enjoy doing these videos for you. Once again, guys, it's been a long journey, but I'm telling you, everything is going to pay off sooner or later. The stock is undervalued dramatically. I think fair value is about $18. But hey, look inside of this market. When a stock actually gets recognized, it can go way above fair value, getting to the you know $30, $40 range pretty quickly. I think you're just early. I think we are early following fundamentals, not watching legacy media, not watching these BS analysts give these four or five dollar price targets for years and years after the company continues to grow. It's just a matter of time before this snowball really starts to take over and we see the true potential of the SoFi management, and the SoFi company, of what they have been doing behind the scenes, four quarters in a row profitability, reaccelerating growth. And also the CEO has said, you know, 2025, clear skies ahead. We don't see any, you know, things slowing us down. Massive, massive tailwinds for rate cuts. It's going to be our time. Once again, my name is Kyle. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to smash the like button, drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be keeping you updated daily. Have a great day.